to Georgia Tech. Syracuse at 10 to 3. They are 1 and 1 in the conference, losing at Virginia just one over the weekend against Pitt. And Duke wins the opening tip at Cameron. We're underway. Good immense, a talented guard, but a Syracuse Orange going up against number 14 Duke. And a cold start as Chris Bell misfires there on the outlet. Jeremy Roach drawing contact and gets it to go. And he'll be at the line. Has two Jay Williams. Theo, what a, what a big time move. Look how he slowed down his pace. It's one of the things that older guards are able to do because they understand how to change speeds. You want to see Kyle Filipowski work for position down low and demand the ball. Kane on the drive. He'll scoop it up and in. Rocking, but that was a. It's still the, the, the thing you question about Duke, and I think Duke has a legit shot to win a title, is the physicality. Can they play through tough stretches when teams try to outmatch them with physicality? And then rallied in that one. North Carolina special team. Uh, RJ Davis is special. I mean, you talk about guard play as you see Tyrese Proctor there. That's what Duke basketball is. Everybody doing yeah. what they do off a ball screen here. Does a great job of probing, gets into the lane, and it's a strong. Is McCain wow. short. Vince again on the attack, airborne, and yes. Daughtry, best thing he heard was Judah Mintz saying, I'm coming back for another year. We're coming back for the second half. This has been the G Pack. In the early 90s, he was Jim's assistant. And now yeah. taking the ball. Oh. And there's another dunk there by Mitchell. He has eight. An incredible pass right here by Tyrese Proctor. You talk about eyes in the back of your head. How about on the side of your head with the Vince trying to make a move at the foul line on the spin and denied by Blakes. And he comes away with the basketball. Roach in transition. Guess who again? And Mitchell's going to the line. To find Mitchell and once again, we talked about it at the beginning of the game for Mark Mitchell to be the X Factor. Well, Mitchell's certainly been doing that. Procter will give it up. Power straight on, and that didn't touch a thing. Wound up a pass for Mitchell. Takes the hit and makes the shot. Well, he's just having a great half. Give him 13 and counting. For his career, he's going to be an energy guy. He's going to be a guy that's going to attack. Great job to stay disciplined and block the shot over the top. A good entry pass for the dunk from Malik Brown. Proctor on the spin, stacks it. So dynamic off the dribble. Well, he's really good at attacking angles and getting to the spots on the floor where he wants to be. Duke lost that game against Georgia Tech and they're only ACC tilt so far. There's the slam. Down from Malik Brown. Knows exactly what to do it in the lane. Give him 10. So he can give it to you any way he likes. Duke with a two-point lead with 234. Uh, having eight points, not playing that well. That's almost a point for every single shot he's taken. Mitch as he gets the to the rack here. Yes, he did. I mean, they're, they are they are playing quick. They're playing decisive. Kyle Filipowski's in foul trouble. For good players when they got to Syracuse, they're tremendous when they left. Not a little. Mitchell, another slam. Mark Mitchell just once again being a screener, rolling Proctor, finding him in a strong 21 against Georgetown, so he can fill it up. Filipowski again shovels the pass. Mitchell on the spin of the slam. Now Filipowski wanting the ball down low on the block, going against Justin Taylor, who's 6'6, and what a big Syracuse has been able to answer all night long. At least to this point, the entry for Filipowski all alone for two. That's right there, finding Mitchell, and then the seal over the top. Buckling down defensively is Bell. And gave it away. Picked up by Foster. Roach up ahead. Tiptoes in and lays it up for two. Because once he sees the ball go in, that's when the problem starts. It's so rare to see a freshman with that kind of shooting ability from range. Nice shot on the drive. And heavy traffic by Mintz. <laughs> by three. Proctor gives it up, stolen away by Mintz. Mintz says Brown with him over the top of the slam. He is 16. Orange keep coming back, keep coming back. Roach will bury the three. He's 46% beyond that arc.
ball on the left side of the floor with your outside right hand. In case you miss, you can recover defensively. Textbook defense by Mintz and Gore. Copeland backs it away. Shot clock down to six. Inside Brown. He's not going to miss anything that close. He's been burying those all night. Like he, he competes each and every possession. Where it is, he can really talk it, too. <laughs> Mount Verde playing for Kevin Boyle, coach Kyrie Irving at St. Pat's. McKay swishing in a three. You know, 15 turnovers in this game, not taking care of the ball. That's a slick pass, and it's going to lead to a potential three-point play. It'll be Brown again to the line. Filipowski went for the block. And the thing is, you know, people, why would Caitlin Clark come back to school? Well, because... The money she's going to make is exponentially greater in the college game than it would be in the WNBA. Sure. As the Blue Devils beat Syracuse again, and they make it nine straight and 11 of the last 12 against the Orange.